We told you the iPhone story. You know the numbers. $50 billion in exports. Tata, Foxconn. The ecosystem is exploding. But as we, as we also very clearly mentioned, that it is majorly assembly, which is putting the pieces together. It's impressive, it's lucrative, but it's not controlled. On the other hand, what you are about to see is the story of the design-linked incentive, the DLI. And ladies and gentlemen, the report card is in. 16 chip tape-outs, 6 A6 fabricated, 140 IP cores developed. From surveillance drones to satellites, 24 projects sanctioned. And this is impactful and it matters. Why? Because 50% of the value in the semiconductor game isn't in the fab. It's actually in the design, it's in the IP. PLI proved India has the hands. DLI is proving India has the brains. But of course, there is a plot twist. The government is rewriting the rules for round two. And the industry? They aren't happy. The government is recalibrating the game. Under the old rules, you spent, they reimbursed, capped at 15 crores. Simple, safe, small. The new proposal, Pari Pasu. That's fancy legal speak for, we match you rupee for rupee. If an investor puts in a dollar, the government puts in a dollar. No cap. Sounds great, right? Actually, wrong. Because this is where the tug of war begins. The government's logic is brutal. If the market won't bet 50 paise on your idea, why should the taxpayer bet a rupee? They want market validation. They don't want to be the only ones holding the bag. But the industry, on the other hand, is screaming foul. Their argument is this. We are building chips, not delivery apps, clearly. A proof of concept chip costs three to five million dollars. There are maybe, of course, five VCs on the face of this planet who understand this risk. And the startups are saying, if we could easily raise the first 10 million dollars, we wouldn't need you. Which, of course, defines this as a classic standoff. The state wants discipline, the startups want oxygen. And on top of all of that, there is a trapdoor in the contract. The government is tired of funding innovation that flies away to Delaware. The new clause? Well, if you take public money and then you move your IP abroad, you pay back three times the support that was given. Yes, three times. It's like a golden handcuff. The message is loud and clear. Public money builds Indian assets. You want to flip to your United States entity? Fine, fair ahead. Go ahead and do it. But please, pay the exit toll. The stakes are getting expensive. DLI 2.0 is actually looking at a 5,000 crore outlet. That's five times the first round. Why? Well, because physics is expensive. Designing a 28 nanometer chip, that takes about $20 million. Designing a 2 nanometer beast, $750 million. As one official said, India has never done this before. Someone has to take the plunge, just like the government did with the 91,000 crore rupees starter fab, where approximately 70% support came from central and state governments. Well, not to sound too dramatic, but this is the valley of death for hardware. The government is willing to walk into the valley, but they want the private sector to hold their hand. So if you are, of course, ready, here is the front page take. The reality. DLI 1.0 proved the capability. DLI 2.0 will test the commitment. The startups want a safety net. The government wants skin in the game. And you know what? Both are right. But if they don't find a middle ground, we stay stuck as an assembly nation. And the map makers, well, will stay in California. Please do let us know what you think in the comments below. This front page by AIM Network. Like, share, subscribe. Think AI. Think DLI. Think AIM.